person guest this evening is a highly skilled and versatile singer and pianist who is always in great demand. Francis Fay has shared the stage with such nightclub greats as Bing Crosby, Mel Torme, and a list far longer than I could take the time now to, to belt out. She's been belting out the blues to extreme satisfaction of, of many, many audiences. She's a funny, irreverent, and irrepressible lady, as one reviewer wrote. And I might add that uh, she's a prime example of unspent youth in the prime generation. Ladies and gentlemen, will you welcome Miss Frances Fay? I just finished a movie for Paramount, produced by Louis Maul, and it takes place in 1917, and it's called Pretty Baby. And is it true that you play the proprietor of a house of questionable repute? Yes. <laughs> that's, a, that, that's going to be released shortly, and I'm, I'm anxious it'll to be, see it. It'll be acting. shown around the first of the year. Yeah, yeah. It's very exciting. I was in New Orleans for three months. Oh, did, and getting up early in the morning, I bet, because movie making does that. Five o'clock. Oh, swell. You must, Five o'clock in the lobby at six. I'm one person who would know. Well, you should know. What, what that's like, indeed. How do you stay vibrant when after, well, more, the number of years that you said you'd kill yourself? When you're young and pretty, it doesn't matter how you wear That's exactly your hair. right. <laughs> right, girls? <laughs> it all depends where your head is at. Yeah, I guess it doesn't so. matter how old you are. If you think young, if you take care of your health, if you have peace of mind. You've always said you feel inside like you're 18. I do. And you do. You I do. Yeah. I do. That's... And you know, I had a very tough time, but one time I broke my hip. You fell off a stage in Las Vegas? No, I didn't you? fall off. I tripped on a carpet at the Hotel Riviera. And I had three major surgeries. And I didn't walk for nearly eight years. Uh, didn't they tell you that you wouldn't walk at all? I didn't is think that... I was going to walk ever. Because, yeah. Well, what did you do? How did I you fight I screamed that? day and night. And they gave me so many pills to keep me quiet, you know. And now God is very good. I don't even take an aspirin. And, and, and I'm wilder than ever. You, yes, I guess Not that's true prettier, that but I'm wilder yeah, than ever. Prettier and wilder. <laughs> that's true. You had... Is there any chance... I read something recently that hinted that you might remarry, because I know you had been married twice. No, I've been married back. twice, but I don't think it's... You don't think, I don't you're think gonna, it's worth it. You're not going to do that again? For the money that I make a week, a man can't support me. <laughs> Indeed. I'm very independent. But you, you wouldn't marry somebody to support him? Or would you marry for love? No, I would marry for love. Well, That's who it, wouldn't? Yeah, sure. But I have such a good time. I have three poodles. And they keep me busy. And your life is like yes, you want it. Yes, and I love it. And I work very hard. You're, I know you work hard, and you're acquainted with audiences maybe more than any... She is an entertainer's entertainer, and that's the truth. Not only the public that, that loves her, but the people like Sinatra will just come to, to hear her sing. Well, you know, Bob Hope was in town yesterday, but he had to make a plane, but he did call me. Did he give you a call? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He's a good guy. So I'm crazy about Telly Sabalas, aren't you? You know, I don't know Tilly. I've, I've met him, oh, he's but I wild. watch him. Sure. He's, he's wild. He's beautiful. What, in dealing with audiences like big band era audiences, as opposed to today's audiences uh, in the more intimate settings, what kind of audience do you prefer? We got a great one here today. You know, I love this audience. I like to entertain the masses, and whatever they want to hear, I play by ear, and I play, and sing, and I never know. I never do the same show twice. You, you don't pre-plan or anything? It just, no. it just unfolds? No. Right. 
But I know what I'm doing. Right. Down deep, you have to know what you're doing. Audiences all of all kinds love you, and I know some of them. She's always saying that she's gay, 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 and that it's not what you think. No, it's not. And I wondered if uh, it is. I think uh, gay, gay, gay is to be very happy. To be happy and uh, right. and spread. I like to make audiences happy because things aren't as good as they used to be. But it is a fact, isn't it, that a that a good-sized component of your audience are people of complex gender. Isn't that true? It doesn't matter to me. If they're aware and alert, and if they understand me and like me, I'm thrilled to you, death. You like alert people. Yes, I do. Well, that's why like we like you. you. Oh, <laughs> I'd like to hear you sing again. If you do, Can you do another one for us? Sure, think? I'd love to. What are you going to do? Yesterday, written by the Beatles. Oh, the Beatles yesterday. Good. Why? He had to go. I don't know. He wouldn't say. I said something wrong. Now I long for yesterday. Yesterday. Love was such an easy game to play. Now I need a place to hide away. Oh, I believe in yesterday. Yesterday came suddenly Why? Why he had to go? I don't know He wouldn't say today.